the wait is over we know the details about scarlet spiders fresh horizons event popped up last night in marvel strike force we're going over all the details you need right now so that you could get your free shards for scarlet spider let's go right into the game and take a look at these details for this event so this you could max them out looks like you could get at least a three star maybe if you're uh pushing a little harder with some orbs and things you can get a little higher with that but looks like free to play three stars with some extra shards left over for uh scarlet spider how do you do it we're gonna talk about it right now earning points was a 14 day milestone you can level up any character by using training mats you're going to use these points for training mats you're going to need some gold to use those training mats but it's all about those training mats spent and the energy spent we're going to look at the milestones in just a little bit your roster can't use any more training mats you could also earn points by spending campaign energy but you're going to need to spend a lot of campaign energy if you want to max out this event without any training modules milestone rewards they look pretty good the scarlet spider shards which i think is the grand prize of this event but we're also getting some teal gear in these pocket dimensions which also look like very good rewards as well but seems like a little less shards for this character maybe that's meaning that the web wars are more important than we initially thought all right pocket dimension it is tied to scarlet spider a limited time pocket dimension complete a series of 10 missions using characters with a limited time resolute trait we're gonna go look at that in a, just a little bit could earn scarlet spider shards fully crafted gear and yeah the rewards are looking pretty good but tied behind rng you might get a good one you might get a not as good one and there's going to be a resolute orb in the store in case you don't have these resolute characters built up you can start to uh plan and build some shards for these characters so you get to the uh to this pocket dimension a little sooner now it doesn't look like it's that hard we'll go look at the entire map in just a little bit but before we do that let's take a look at these milestones how how much activity do you need over the course of this event to complete all of these milestones and if we look at what we need at the end 30 milestones 64,000. i think some people are suspecting this could be a seven day milestone running twice all indication and this video is going to be based on this event running once now it's going to be even more friendly you're gonna to have to spend more through this event if it runs twice but that also means more uh, scarlet spider shards so uh that is that is the double-edged sword with that now scoring most of your scores are gonna be come from spending these l4 l3 l2 training mats this is where the most and then you're gonna get some points for spending campaign energy and if you're spending the normal 600 per day just to get your keys that should get you 1200 points per day towards these milestones just for doing your normal activity and if you're spending even more doing those 100 refreshes then uh that'll get you even less l4 training modules that you have to spend now let's go look at some of the calculations i did and shout out to ralph and the valley club for correcting some of the initial uh miscalculations they did but i uh, 64 000 points from the milestones and you're getting 600 energy that is 12 100 points per day 1600 points from energy through the life of this 14 day event which means that 47,200 points is the amount that you have to get after that initial 600 energy which means per day 3,371 that you're going to need from training mats now it doesn't seem that tough to get i know a lot of people were worried oh we have to hoard i thought we just weren't supposed to hoard but it looks like even if you didn't end up hoarding you could still still do this event if uh, if you don't have any extra training mats and gold lying around just from what we get per day let's go into the game and just kind of show you what it would take for example to get a character so we did this for example magic taking her from 70 to 80 we'll use about 4 million gold we'll use a lot of these training mats and if we look at the calculations for these l4s l3s l2s and this l1 we go back to the calculations here that is about 4 million gold 54 l4s that is a little over 3,000 points for this event that is almost 7,000 points for the l3s that is almost 16,000 points for these l2s and uh total is a little bit over 26,000 points just for getting a character for 70 to 80 4 million gold valley club has done the calculations and is about 10 million gold that you need to spend 
over the course of these milestones whether they be seven or 14 days over the course of these milestones you need to spend about 10 million gold and that'll give you the equivalent training mats to get uh, the characters that you need and all the score and everything like that also the other calculation it's about 1.6 million experience to get a character from 1 through 85 and it takes about 1.6 million experience to max the milestone with zero energy spent so just taking one character through the event from 1 to 85 will get you all of these milestones now the other piece of this event is the pocket dimensions yes yelena loves this mode and we're getting we're getting some decent rewards here now on msf.gg now you can see you can see some of the nodes we see some of the nodes here we don't have node one we don't have node nine we don't have node 10 but if we look at each node you're getting one scarlet spider shard per node if you're doing all 10 nodes two times that's 20 extra shards and if we go down and look at these rewards that we got first time rewards you're getting some silver promo credits getting some decent guaranteed rewards you're getting some potentially really really good random items or if you're getting these fully crafted orange gear not as good uh random items but teal really really good if you get some of these and then you're also getting some random items as well the second run is when you're gonna get the 55 scarlet spider shards from completing that and if we add in the 20 shards that we're getting from each node that is 75 through this uh through pocket dimensions completing it and then if we go back to the milestones what we get from here 51 from the milestones 55 from the completing the pocket dimension 20 per node of each pocket dimension that leaves us with 126 scarlet spider shards for this event very very low as far as the shards here but uh, i guess we're getting teal gear we're getting some good stuff for this event but it's like a, it is it is a version of dark dimension if you want to go into the the section right now in game you can see that is listed in the dark dimension section here boom and if we go all the way to the bottom or all the way to the end pocket dimension as of me recording this starts in nine days and these are these are some of the rewards as well the full reward list though is on the msf.gg site as we take a look at these now as we go and take a look at some of the harder nodes as we try to figure out what resolute characters we're going to need as this is loading takes a little while to load on this site but here we go we got some of these waves here they don't seem that crazy for node eight which is not the hardest node in the game but uh one of the nodes that you're going to need to go doesn't seem as crazy as i would thought some of the earlier nodes are very very easy actually so these this is what you can expect as far as characters and it does ramp up so node one very very or node two that we saw in msv.gg very very easy but node eight gets a little harder not sure what node 10 is going to do but you're going to need to build up your resolute characters for this and who can do this well if you manage to get your omega red a lot of the valley clubs is thinking yeah you could probably solo this whole thing with just omega red i don't know if you need that though i don't know if you need to solo it with just omega red but characters that i think are worth building obviously cersei eternals the arena meta right now is going to give you a lot of value they are meta in many many game modes scarlet spider miles symbiote spider or miles normal spider-man both look worth building as part of this web warriors team so i'm going to be building up these two characters shuri also looking pretty good but there's some other backup characters that are pretty decent as well uh misty knight worth building for the gamma raids if you're using the heroes for hire worth building if you love being a dirty defensive war team but misty knight decent kit for the raids as well multiple man serves some value and then we have some of the newer characters storm who just got some added value with magic and in magic herself so all of all of them are all of them are good omega red is also for this pocket dimension guys so uh, remember that remember that it's uh basically so the what we're what we're saying in chat is dark pocket dimension is basically dark dimension one with uh iso and different gear levels so shouldn't be too challenging for end game players mid game players might struggle a little bit with this event but uh not the worst event but uh, pretty stingy in terms of the scarlet spider shards awarded so that's not the worst event but uh decent decent stuff that we're getting in it just not 
not good uh what do you call it not good uh scarlet spider shards that is it though that is how to get your free three star scarlet spider maybe more if you're buying some of these and uh, hopefully get lucky with these red stars let me know what characters you are thinking building up for this resolute pocket dimensions and i will see you guys next time i will see you guys on this stream we do valley club in the morning we have the news video coming out and yes check me out on social media have a great rest of your day and give me that hog fist but before you go valley flying